If you having a modular kitchen constructed for your house for the first time, be prepared to be overwhelmed with jargon that may go over your head. Do you know what to ask an interior designer or when you are going for shopping for your kitchen? For those who are just getting started with their modular kitchen design and layout, here is a handy guide. First, determine your work triangle in the kitchen is very essential. A kitchen work triangle is comprised of your kitchen refrigerator, sink and stove. Determining how these three fundamental items interact with one another is very important that is the location and the space between each is an important part of establishing a kitchen layout. Before thinking about the arrangement, make a rough drawing of your kitchen space so that you know about the available space into your kitchen and the setting and other things that are going to be very helpful for designing a modular kitchen. Optimal height of countertop is the second most important thing that you have to consider and have to keep in mind. The average height of individuals in a country is sometimes used to determine the recommended counter height for a kitchen. Counter height ranges from 820mm to 860mm. It is a pleasant place to work in for most people. Make sure there is not too much space between your kitchen, cabinet and your counter. Shorter persons may struggle to access the higher shelves if it is too high. Selecting the colors carefully in the kitchen is the third important point that you have to consider for designing your kitchen. Keep in mind that the kitchen will require maintenance in the future because cooking produces a lot of stubborn stains. It might be advisable to avoid having an all-white kitchen. Kitchen with all-white cabinets necessitates frequent cleaning and require a lot of upkeep. That is not to say you should choose vivid colors at random darker tints after all, observes more heat, which is especially important in the summer. To keep your overall harmony, you can always choose a combination of the two colors. It's crucial to have proper ventilation. At number four, having a proper ventilation is considered very important. Cooking is a hot activity. Check to see if your kitchen has enough ventilation or not. The frying fumes are usually vented using a chimney or an exhaust fan or both can be used in some cases. In a perfect world, the kitchen would have a door that leads to the balcony or the laundry room. This will allow fresh air to enter while also ensuring that cooking smoke does not accumulate inside to your home. Lightning in the kitchen is the next thing that you have to consider for designing your kitchen. If you want to brighten up your kitchen, nothing beats natural light streaming in through the window. However, if you are using natural light, make sure your kitchen has good illumination for evenings and nights. The countertops where the most of the action occurs will be lit from above because they provide direct light on the countertop under the cabinet lightings are also becoming more popular for performing various tasks. Prioritize safety. Safety is very important for all of us. One of the most important thing to consider when it comes to the kitchen is safety. You should consider everything from safety gas piping to curved counter edges when making your kitchen safe. Even the flooring you choose should be slip resistant. The switchboard should be close by and there should be some space between the sink and the stove. Corner space must be considered is at number 7. We frequently overlook corners while building storage shelves and cabinets. However, there are numerous choices for making the most of the corner space Professionals can assist you in customizing your design and maximizing the available area. After all, in the kitchen there is no such thing as having too much storage. Get rid of it. Some individuals like to keep the garbage can out in the open to make it more accessible. Additionally, they are simple to clean. If you don't want to see the garbage can out in the open, built-in bins are an option. Behind a cabinet door there are made usually under the sink. I hope this video has given you some inspiration for your own kitchen. Remember, these are merely the fundamentals because your kitchen interiors are an expensive investment. You should give it a lot of attention and research. Make sure your kitchen space personalized, eco-friendly and functional according to your dream kitchen.